be talking tonight uh, about incarnate glory, but also um, for our theme tonight, we're going to be talking about really, really taking authority over unclean spirits and breaking the power of unclean spirits. I don't want you to get uh, afraid tonight. I want you to be open to uh, what I'm going to say because what we're going to receive here tonight in its fullness, a lot of what I did not uh, say during the uh, Friday night, and I started this message during the Friday night of our anniversary celebration. Um, but a lot of it, uh, because of the people not being able to handle uh, the, the very full in-depthness of this, but still not, um, you know, sure that we uh, flow with God to this place and to this dimension, and that we begin to see and understand that there are levels and dimensions with God that will help us do better, live better, be stronger, and get better results, get faster results. So what I'm going to share with you tonight in fullness on this message is going to help you understand as children of God uh, how to break spirits of poverty, how to break spirits of lack, um, how to uh, maintain yourself in a flow where finances are concerned. Is that all right? Uh, and how not to be broke, how not to be struggling, and to open your eyes to help you realize what could be interfering uh, many times with the manifestation of the proper flow of finances in our lives. And I want to chalk this down to this manifestation tonight of how we are to break the power of unclean spirits. Are you ready to go tonight? So if you remember, I was talking about... Um, in a new degree of glory, we were talking about incarnate glory. And um, and I explained to you that incarnate glory is when uh, the glory of God takes on human form and moves into humanity. In other words, when a certain kind of human being is manifested among humanity for a specific purpose, that human beings, certain human beings are points of glory in the earth realm. When those individuals are manifested, then you will see a certain type of activity that is not normal. That would bring the people into uh, supernatural success and prosperity. Uh, the Bible tells us about Solomon, how the people under Solomon, every man dwelt safely under his vine and his fig tree. So there was massive prosperity right across the board for everybody. But it was because of Solomon. Same principle with David. The people prospered under David. As a matter of fact, when um, the psalm is written in Psalms 89, when it is written, it is mentioned that we have not seen the type of salvation, prosperity and success under the reign of David and Solomon. We have, we have not seen that. So I want you to understand that it is critical for us to understand um, incarnate glory and how it is supposed to work. Many times, like Lot, you will realize that Lot's prosperity was due to his connection to Abraham. You would understand Laban's prosperity. He said, I have learned by experience that the Lord is causing me to prosper because of you. So we must realize many times that the prosperity of humanity is also built on other humanity that has gone into glorious dimensions. Can you receive that tonight? Okay, so uh, under a man of God or a woman of God that's carrying a certain level of grace and glory and power, the people should be prospering. Which is why we want World Harvest to prosper so that people keep their mouth shut. Amen. So that the people are receiving results because they are under a man of God and a woman of God 
that's prospering themselves. That's not begging. Okay? So we want to transfer this tonight, but we also want to deal with the other element that could be interfering with individuals, and I want to really open this up to you on tonight. So in the Word of God, I want to uh, really manifest this on a supernatural level so that you will receive God's Word on tonight. So Matthew chapter 12, Matthew chapter 12, and verse number 43. Matthew 12, verse 43. And here's what it says. But when the unclean spirit has gone out of a man, it roams through dry, arid places in search of rest. But it does not find any. Then it says, I will go back to my house from which I came out. And when it arrives, it finds the place unoccupied, swept, put in order, and decorated. Then it goes and brings with it seven other spirits, more wicked than itself. And they go in and make their home there. And the last condition of that man becomes worse than the first. So also it, uh, shall it be with this wicked generation. What we want to make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that your condition doesn't worsen. Amen. Are you with me tonight? And notice that your condition worsening is not you. Your condition worsening is because of the presence of the unclean spirit and the other seven wicked ones that he's brought with him. This whole satanic network to make sure that you go from a worse condition to a worse condition to a worse condition. Now, uh, let me just say this by flowing. If you notice that many times the, the man in the text does not know when his first bad condition has happened. But what they want to do is to make sure that you have another bad condition that you don't know about. We're stopping that other bad condition from happening to you. That needs to be more excited about this. Because many times we do not know the condition that we're in. We don't know we've had a, a one bad condition. And then we do not know that there is a secondary bad condition. And we don't know there's a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh. And we do not know which condition we're in. I want to expose them tonight so that their powers are broken from off your life. Amen. 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 All right. Now, here's where we are going to uh, take off. Now, in this text, uh, Jesus was asked by the scribes and the Pharisees. He said, we want a sign to prove to us that you are who you say you are. And Jesus began to talk to them and he said, there will be no sign given except the sign of the prophet Jonah. And then uh, he said, as Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights, so the son of man will be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. And then he went on to say that when Jonah got to Nineveh, Jonah spoke eight words and from the king down to everyone else in Nineveh repented. And God changed his mind about destroying Nineveh. Then on top of that, he said a greater than Jonah is here. He called himself greater than Jonah. Which means that he has the ability to speak and get response. Do you understand that? That in the days of Solomon, that the queen of the south came to Jerusalem with a great train. Because she had heard 
of the wisdom of Solomon. And she came to test him with hard questions. And of course, you know the story how the man of God, Solomon in 1 Kings 10, told her everything that was in her heart and then answered all her questions. And then he ascended to worship. There was no breath left on the inside of her. But she came to Jerusalem, great train. The Bible says she, after she heard of Solomon's connection with the name of the Lord. She came to Jerusalem and she brought gold with a lot of whole lot of spices. Like Solomon was into the, you know, he was some chef or something. And uh, you know, but she came to Solomon, but when she left, she left there richer than she came. Yes. Solomon loaded her with gold and silver, and she went back richer than she actually came. Now, can you imagine that a queen came to Jerusalem with a, a great gift? And the Bible says there was nothing brought to Jerusalem like that afterwards. But then when she went back home, she Solomon made sure that she went back home richer than she came. With all of her questions answered. And Jesus said, a greater than Solomon is here. Now, listen to this carefully, ladies and gentlemen. In all of those scenarios that Jesus used, those two scenarios, if you do not understand why he went into talking about the unclean spirit, you will miss the point. The point is incarnate glory. That when a certain kind of human being shows up, the unclean spirit leaves. And it stays away until that man is off the scene. Okay, so we understand that the unclean spirit only came back to Nineveh after Jonah died. The unclean spirit only came back to Jerusalem after Solomon had vacated the throne. So when a certain human being that is carrying a certain kind of glory shows up, unclean spirits leave. And they have to go out into dry, arid places seeking rest because they have been cast out. Glory be to God. What we want is for them to be cast out. What we want is for people to be prospering because there's a certain kind of anointing that is there. There's a certain kind of man that is there and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And of his fullness we all receive. So when Jesus was on the scene, the unclean spirits left. Okay. When Jesus came, who was greater than Solomon, who said he's greater than Jonah, the unclean spirits left. And if you study Jesus' ministry, his ministry was very powerful to unclean spirits. Matter of fact, when the unclean spirits saw him, they asked to leave. So when the unclean spirit goes out and you read the text, something immediately happens to the person that they have left. The Bible says when they go out of a man, when they go out of a man, they go out into dry, arid places seeking rest but does not find any. Now what does this allow us to realize about the mentality of an unclean spirit? It is stupidity to go into a dry place looking for rest. So we understand when an unclean spirit is present, the unclean spirit makes you behave stupid. Are you getting it? When, a, when an unclean spirit is present, it makes the person that it occupies behave stupid. Because that is its mentality. It will make you do things that you will not get any results from. 
Because if you're going to be out in dry, desert, arid places looking for rest and finding none, that's stupidity. So one of the key things that we need is we need our people to be free from these unclean spirits so that stupid actions stop. You've got to talk back to me here, somebody. Okay? And what we need is to get this out of the church. What we want is pure, positive action from children of God. They'll make children of God believe wrong things. And they will make you act out the wrong thing. They'll have you with wrong beliefs about men and women. Wrong beliefs about life and marriage and wrong beliefs about money. And you will act out stupidity when it comes to those areas. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. That is how they control individuals because even in the financial realm, we can all say we did some very stupid things with money. We put money in places money should not have gone. We bought things that we were not at the level to have those things. See? Oh, we got a little Clearborn, you know, we, 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 you know, we got all the Gucci, we got, you know, Prada, you know, Louis Vuitton, we got, we got Chanel, you know, number five, we got everything, got all, we got Remy, for God's sake. $400, you know what I'm saying? We got a whole lot of stuff going on. Ladies and gentlemen, if we are honest, we have already spent millions of dollars. Come on. And you know, the, the nail tech has been taking everything. I don't mean to be bad. Uh, but I'm just telling you, um, in relationship, it's made us act silly. Okay. Okay. Even in ministry, it's made many of us act silly. But we do not know it is we do not know many times the activity is the result of these spirits. Okay. They say, well, you know, when I get married, I got to have uh, the man got to be able to do this and do that and clean and he got to learn to wash himself and everything and right away the angelic said no, no, no angel do not open that door to her <laughs> you know then you have men that got chauvinist behavior when it comes to women that she got to be this and she got this, she can't do this she can't do the next and the best way until a man's heart is to his stomach, she can't talk and all this kind of stuff and right away you got that behavior and said no So we have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, we have to understand that it is our place to have the right understanding so that the unclean spirit can't work. Y'all need to talk. Y'all need to cut four clap and that's all right. But many times while why relationships don't work is because of this activity called stupidity. And many times we think it's wisdom, we think it's wise, we think we're protecting ourselves. You're not protecting yourself, you're acting silly. Okay, you're not being a woman, hear me roar. Settle yourself down. <laughs> anyway, and because we do not understand how they make us operate, which is why wisdom is important. Why? Both men and women must learn wisdom. Yep. Just learn how to operate, get the tools, get the keys, get the principles, and operate, you know, properly. So that we're not creating a fight when there's no need to fight. So that nobody says, you know, okay, well, whenever you're ready to, whenever you're ready to end whatever you need to end, just go ahead and do it. It's going to be all right. No, you don't need to be doing that. We have an opportunity to make things better. If things getting better is not a problem. But 
you know, you don't destroy something happening to make things better because you are afraid of it. Okay. Did you understand what I just said? Because you are afraid something bad is going to happen. Or because you, you, you know, you think that this is going to, you know, disappear at some point, it's going to go bad at some point in time. That is not always the situation. Okay? So, listen, you're not the FBI and you're not the CIA. Stop tracking people. Okay. You know? So, I need you to understand this. So, again, when these spirits are present, you don't know. Until many times a man of God shows up or a woman of God shows up that is carrying an incarnate glory and they know they need to leave. See? And they'll have a little back and forth and whatever, but they know, they know right away. When Jesus came on the scene, every one of them knew it was time to leave. It was time to leave or be tormented. Because once Jesus is here, the people are supposed to prosper. Once Solomon is on the throne, the people are to prosper. Once David is on the throne, the people are supposed to prosper. Once one of David's sons are on the throne, the people are supposed to prosper. So when someone like this shows up, the unclean spirit leaves. And it has to stay out there in those dry places until that person is no longer on the throne. You got it? So let's go to work here. Let's go to work. This is vitally important. After it finds no rest out there in those dry places, it says to itself, watch this, I will return. You see it? I will go back to my house. I will go back to my house from which I came out. So I'm, I'm not looking for no place new. I'm going back to the house to see if the person that made me leave is still there. Comes back to the house and according to the text, finds it unoccupied, nobody on the throne. Finds it unoccupied but swept. Come on. Put in order. Come on. And decorate it. That means that is not the condition it left it in. Comes back and finds it in its perfect condition. So when the unclean spirit leaves, there is a dimension that instantly fixes you. Okay, I, I, I gotta get you to accept and receive this. When the unclean spirit leaves, a dimension of your life is immediately cleaned, swept out, decorated, set in order. But you are now to occupy that dimension. Or somebody God must say to occupy that dimension. If not, that unclean spirit will recognize I cannot disturb that person's life any longer because of the order that they have. I need to find some more wicked forces to come in with me to do them over again. I can't deal with that order. Israel started to feel, listen, Israel started to feel the moment that Joshua went off the scene. The forces of the enemy could not do much when certain men of God were leading Israel. Therefore, if poverty and lack exists under men of God, there's a certain power they're not carrying. There's a certain grace, there's a certain glory, favor that they're not carrying. Which is why we want to wipe poverty out. Amen. Because the absence of poverty is a sign that a throne is occupied. 
Glory be to God. Are you with me? Now, some of the things that I thank God I kept for now <laughs> is this unclean spirit says, I will return to my house. In other words, listen to this carefully, the lineage I'm assigned to. Not the physical building. The line, the bloodline that I'm assigned to. This house. See? I'll go back to the Scanderbury house. I'll go back to the Thompson house. See? I'll go back to the Griffith house. Because I, I know the persons in that line, in that family line, that I got to operate through until somebody came into that family that served the Lord and I had to leave. So let me go back now and see if somebody there is still serving the Lord or if nobody is serving the Lord. The word there is lineage, house. David had a house. God said, I will build you a house, a line, a lineage, a bloodline. Joseph that married Mary was of the house and lineage of David. So what happens many times is that the enemy, these unclean spirits, after a while out there in dry, arid places, they said, let's go back to the house and let's see if there is somebody in that house that is serving God. Because if they find someone occupying the place where they left, it means they have to go back out there again until they come back and find that somebody in this line is not serving God properly. Now you may say, Apostle, what are you talking about? Let's look at this particular dimension. When you read the book of Ruth chapter 4, you will see the lineage of David that started with Perez, came down with Amron, Salmon, who went into Jericho. Are you there? And ended up marrying Rahab the harlot that was in Jericho. Now you understand that Rahab and Salmon, what they created in Bethlehem, catapulted them to supernatural wealth. So that by the time they had a child whose name was Boaz, And Ruth came back from Moab with Ruth. Sorry, Naomi came back from Moab with Ruth. Boaz was the richest man in Bethlehem. David's great-great-grandfather. Ruth and Boaz had a son named Obed. Are you following what I'm saying? Now, the problem is that Naomi did not really understand what that house was about. And they named uh, Obed, his name means servant. Between Obed, and by the time you get to David, that line is broke. So between Obed, Jesse, and David, that house, that bloodline lost all of its wealth. So what happened between Obed and David, that spirit got into the family. We're breaking that tonight. We're breaking that tonight. It's going out of your family tonight. Come on, it's going out of your family tonight. So what we must understand is that many times the lack of wealth in a family line is due to somebody in that family that acted stupid and got controlled by the unclean spirit. We're changing all of that today. Amen. My God have mercy. So anytime you have someone in 
the family that it it will take dominion over the stupidity of the person to not serve the Lord. Got it? When you have someone in the family line that is serving the Lord, they cannot operate. And I mean, I mean seriously, occupying the throne. Tonight you must sit on your throne. Tonight you must sit on your throne that when they look, they, they'll see the space is occupied. So, if you follow David's line, by the time we get down to Joseph, who married Mary, it was restored. He was a rich man. Oh my goodness. It takes incarnate glory to restore bloodlines. So from tonight, if you receive this word, your house prosperity begins with you. The restoration of riches and wealth begins with us. Begins with us tonight. Come on. There is a cleansing, a restoring, a setting in order of our bloodline tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will sit on our thrones in the realm of the spirit. And no unclean spirit that will re that returns will find the place occupied, unoccupied. They will come and find it occupied and they will have to go back out into dry, arid places looking for rest because they will find no more rest in our bloodline. They will find no more rest in us, in our minds, in our hearts, in our bodies, in our finances, in our ministry, in our lives, in our children. I declare it now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Would you receive this tonight? 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 So here's why this is so important. Because if you don't do it, that unclean spirit will go out and bring other wicked ones, seven more. Now they eight instead of one. And the condition of the person is going to be worse than the first one. I want to end any bad condition manifested in our lives here tonight. I want to end any bad, any worsening of our condition here tonight. For those who are joining us online, we're ending any... You, do you know, pe people know when their lives are going from bad to worse. It's like these forces, I, I want a worse thing to happen. But we're not going to let that happen. Amen. We're going to stop that tonight. Amen. Now, I want you to take this very important word down. And um, got a few minutes left here to work on this. I want you to take the Greek word down for the word house. It's the word O-I-K-O-S. Oikos. O-I-K-O-S. That word oikos is where we get the English prefix eco. Eco. From where we get the word ecology and economics. Got it? So this Greek word oikos refers to, and I want you to write it down, refers to the concept of number one, the family. The family's property. And then the house, which speaks of the overall existence. The family, the family's property, and then the house or the overall existence of that family. Now, let's go to work.
I want you to write the word ecology down. E-C-O-L-O-G-Y. Ecology. Let me tell you what ecology is. It is the branch of biology that deals with relations of organisms to one another and to their physical surroundings. It is a branch of biology that deals with the relations of organisms to one another and their physical surroundings. So when these unclean spirits are operating, they will make you in relationships with the right people, start relationships with the wrong ones. If I if if an unclean spirit really wants to get you and destroy you, if you look at your life, you can see much of you change by your relationships. How you feel about yourself, how you see yourself, your consciousness of yourself, your trust, your stability or instability. Your self-awareness, your Reverend accent, your positive self-image. <laughs> what created that one bad relationship after another? And who do you think is behind you having one bad relationship after another? You think it was you? It was the presence of that unclean spirit to damage you to the point that once you go into another relationship, the person gone after they see your attitude. Listen, you got to talk to me here, somebody. Things break down because of the ecology, the relationship, how people are interacting with one another. The slightest little thing will be going off. <laughs> Come on. But you left here early since and five minutes you should normally you be home by this time. You stop somewhere, so no, they stop the traffic. Oh, the traffic. Oh, they call it the traffic. <laughs> you know? And everybody starts trying to figure out what's going on. And ladies and gentlemen, don't feel bad. It happens with stars. <laughs> but we think many times why we can't have harmonious relationship is because somebody has been affected in their ecology. We did not get to the economics yet. We're dealing with the ecology. That we don't realize that there's a force that is fueling the way how we respond to one another. Listen, man. And many times the way how we are now reacting to this person was not caused by this person. It was caused by somebody else. Now this person is getting licks for it. Okay, y'all not going to say any, anything. And many times the person who can who is there, they don't have anything, they don't want anything from you, and they're there to help, you push them away. Okay, let's go to economics. On the job, relationships causing problems, friction, somebody get moved or somebody get fired. It's not the salary, it's not what you're getting that is creating the problem, it's the ecology. And there's a spirit there that just 
does not let thought get along. <laughs> There's an unclean spirit there that death would not let people get along. Makes people too malicious. Business. I want no stuff that ain't your business. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, interferes, watch this, with the economics. Because you cannot have money in this realm without regulation. Okay, okay. Now we're understanding how the spirit got into the family. See? And then you will have family that can't get along. You have brothers and sisters that fighting. Aunts and cousins, niece and nephew, and everybody fighting. Everybody trying to figure out what's going wrong with this family. What's this family, family feud? <laughs> now, knowing, ladies and gentlemen, there is something in the family that is causing the disturbance. Because in order for it to survive in the family, it must create disturbance. The place must be out of order. The family must be displaced, must be out of order. People must be different to one another. Hatred must be there. Envy and jealousy and all kind of stuff must be in there. People must say things that they don't need to say. Get back to this person that they said this about their husband or said this about their man or said this about their woman or said this about them, said this about their mother and nobody can say nothing about my mother. I gained all there. We gonna run through the house. <laughs> and folks wonder, okay, what's going on? What's going on? We gonna tear this house down. We gonna rip this whole place up. And folk are wondering what is going on here. And all the while this stuff is happening, the enemy is interfering with the flow of the economics. Hold on, let's go to this. What is economic? It is the branch of knowledge. Even though Bill Gates is who he is, he knows things. Yeah. Warren Buffet knows things. Yeah. Elon Musk knows things. Yeah. There's a certain kind of knowledge. Mr. Ellison knows things. Come on. Yeah. That we don't know. Yeah. It's how a man can give away, put all of his stuff into a foundation and in three days and seven days he's back at number two because he knows something so economics is not money it is a branch of knowledge concerned with the production consumption and transfer of wealth economics is the branch of knowledge have you gone across that branch to pick anything lately It is a branch of knowledge concerned with the production, consumption, and transfer of wealth. And that's all this unclean spirit does. Yes, in there, messes up the ecology and messes up the economics. In other words, stops you from getting the knowledge you need. So all the knowledge you have is once I get something to do, I good. That's a light. Once I get a little pick, I good. Once I get a salary, I good. Listen, some salaries, some salaries ain't helping you. It ain't enough to give you the good life. Can I talk to you here tonight? Some level of salary it ain't enough to give you the kind of life you really want to have. It's just enough to keep you coming back. But when the unclean spirit is cast out, something supernatural happens. Amen. There is an immediate sweeping of the area. Yes. An immediate redressing of the area. Furnishing of the area. Things put in order the moment the unclean spirit is gone. Amen. Now tonight in Jesus' name, we demand that unclean spirit to leave your life, leave your bloodline. Amen. 
Leave your family lined right now in Jesus' name. Lift those hands and receive it tonight. Come on. Lift your hands and receive it tonight. Come on. I want to release to you tonight a, a certain kind of knowledge, an economic dimension, a certain line of knowledge that you must have above and beyond the job that you have right now. Above and beyond the salary that you're receiving right now. The kind of knowledge that you need to be bad in the area of finances, bad in the area of economics, you will have it in the mighty name of Jesus. From tonight, you will not take your salary and just spend, 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 spend on what makes you feel good and look good. From tonight, you will have the kind of knowledge to deal with money properly. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to work with me tonight. We're dealing with this unclean spirit tonight. We're letting that unclean spirit know that when you return, you're going to find somebody occupying this room. So, what Christians must understand is that the fall or the disturbance many times why people end up in a worse condition think about it why they end up in a worse condition is because the money went bad come on the money went bad or a relationship went bad think about it think about it and most of the times think about where the money went bad because the relationship went bad Y'all don't have to say much. Y'all don't have to say much. Been there and done that. And who do you think was behind it? You think it was you? No. It's an unclean spirit that wants your condition to be worse. Every time. So every time you come out of a relationship, you're worse than you were before. And your money is worse than it was before. You don't know how much money I give him and how I help him with this and how I help him get this and how I get help him get the next and 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 listen, 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 listen. And now the money gone, he gone, and if we don't counsel you, you gone. <laughs> Come on. You don't know how much money I, I put into her, how much I helped her when she was down, and when she didn't have this, and when she didn't have the next, and I did this, and I did that, and I did the next, and now now she relationship, ecology and economics. Ecology and economics. And Joseph is there counting. I'm gonna put her away the relationship over. Walk around town, she's pregnant for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> how much is it going to take to send her away privily? Is it counting it out? How much is it going to take to send her away for the nine months? Everybody going to know what's going on? Send her down to Egypt? Everybody going to know? Everybody asked me anything? She met somebody while she was in Egypt. <laughs> And we don't understand, ladies and gentlemen, this is what's happening. The ecology and the economics are being tampered with because of the presence of this nasty spirit that does not want folk to have right relations, right relationships, and does not want you to have money. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Somebody comes into your life and they're pulling money, pulling money, pulling money from you, pulling money from you all the time and you don't understand that that money should be going towards your next dimension. That money should be going towards your investment. That money should be going towards some policy. Something that will mature later and help you. 
and it's happening in the church too much and too often yep. and it's our responsibility as men and women of God to look you in the face and tell you it's time to get rid of that unclean spirit that is messing up your life yep. send him out in dry arid places and anytime he comes back he has to go back up there because you have the place occupied Are you with me? Yes. It helps people to understand the differences and not let people who do not want you to be happy interfere with your psychology Come on. Come on. and tell you things and make you act on their stupidity. Come on. And then they're always arguing, always angry. <laughs> you know, this what wonder what's going on, what's happening, what this spirit has been doing, interfering with people's minds and the way how they operate. When Jesus cast that on um, that legion out of the man, when the four in the city came out, they found him sitting talking with Jesus, found him in his right mind, and found him clothed. A man that a few moments ago you could not control him. And Jesus sent him to say, go tell the folk the good things that the Lord has done for you. So what happens many times even in the church now, please understand. What happens in the church is when men of God entertain unclean spirits. And you will hear talk against prosperity. When the very Bible that we read, Paul tells us in Romans 5, 17, they that receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign as kings in this life through Christ Jesus. And then people say there's no prosperity gospel. When Jesus himself came that we might have life and have it more abundantly to the full, to the overflows. And Paul said, my God will supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Are you listening to what I am talking to you, ladies and gentlemen? Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? Then somebody gets into the pulpit and tells you something against what Jesus has said and you accept it. And you cannot see when from the pulpit an unclean spirit has been released to you to come back into your life to the folly of a man and woman of God interfering with the process of the kingdom because you cannot preach kingdom and people broke. And we, we will accept it, which is why there is an anger of people when they hear about see sowing now. And tithe and often the people are angry because that spirit has returned to the church. And it takes someone who is carrying glory to show up. And to let people know that your tithe is between you and the Lord of hosts. Yeah, yeah. It is not all covenant. Come on. Come on. It's the Lord of hosts, the God of the angel armies that said, if you bring your tithe, I will open the windows of heaven. It has nothing to do with the old covenant. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to realize that Abraham was offering Isaac before there was an old covenant. you got to understand that Abel had brought his first and finest of his flock before the old covenant. you got to understand that Jacob was offering sacrifices before the old covenant. He said, God, I'm making a covenant with you. If you would give me clothes to wear, give me food to eat, if you will bring me to my father's house in peace, if you will give me things, then of all the things that you give me, I'll give you a tenth of them before there was anything called an old covenant. And this is why we have to make sure that we do not allow an unclean spirit to be entered 
into the body of Christ by folk who are acting silly because of that same unclean spirit. Amen. So Jesus dealt with the Pharisees and the scribes because they were practicers of this. This art of opening the door to unclean spirits. That messes up relationships. That makes you kill a relationship that you need. And someone said, um, I'm just calling to let you know this relationship is over. And Burns is like, why? It's just, it's just over. <laughs> so just accept it. It's just over. You know? I said, okay, well, if it's over, it's over. Then a few days call the person that did, well, were you thinking about me? Hell no, I'm not thinking about you. a little straight and um, I would like some some you know to know if you can help me but you don't have to help me if you don't want to you know I'm just asking uh, you don't have to help me you don't have to help me I'm just man you know what I'm saying you don't even you man you don't even respectful you know it's like this whole halo of confusion you know got all this this whole this whole pantsuit of confusion <laughs> And this thing is happening right in front of us yes. every day, and, and the spirit is Come just on, laughing. <laughs> These folks so silly, yes. laughing at the church yep. because we do not understand yes. that it has gotten in and it has corrupted the place we Come should on. occupy. Yes. And we've we've seen how it's got people dancing and jumping and hollering, but just as broke as the first set of commandments, Moses, we don't. And we don't care that we broke once we worship him. We, we, we feel good worshiping while we broke. You didn't hear what I said. Feel good while we worshiping and praising God and can't pay bills. Talk back here to me, somebody. And then a man of God shows up to deal with the unclean spirit, and instead of attacking the unclean spirit with him, they attack him. So they came up, saw the man in his right mind talking to Jesus, and they told Jesus, Leave our place. When they should have brought the other four out and let Jesus get the unclean spirit out of there as well too. So, what I want you to understand here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is that Apostle Scanbury, I will no longer stand up and allow elements of this unclean spirit to come back at the people of God. Amen. Amen. Many levels have been destroyed yeah. because of the lack of knowledge yeah. of four in the pulpit and four in the pew. Come on, yes. Yes. But while we are playing games, the four at the top, the politicians at the top are meeting and laughing at us. Come on. They have harmonious relationship it's true. and the economy, the economics between them are flowing. And while Z is meeting with Putin, they're meeting secretly with all four here and giving them money. Yeah, true. And their relations are good. Yeah. United Nations. Oh, yeah. World Bank. Yeah. 
International Development Bank. Inter-American Development Bank. Caribbean Development Bank. Y'all, you got to hear what I'm saying. They having the right ecology. And so their economics are working for them. Check the church out now. And see that our ecology isn't working. Therefore, our economics can't work. Got it? Because it's this man shouldn't have what he has. And this man is just about money. He's not about souls of people. When the man is abjectly fighting against unclean spirits, interfering with people, men and women in the body of Christ that should be living wholesome lives there. Demonic spirits crippling the folk. Not hear what I'm saying. You got folk worshiping and then you can't sleep at night. Something, something harassing you at night. Then you can't sleep. Preaching the gospel, you can't sleep. <laughs> Y'all not hear what I'm saying? You gotta come get deliverance. <laughs> Y'all not hear what I'm saying? Because your economics messed up. If you had the money to take care of what you need to take care of, you would sleep good at night. <laughs> You know, but, you, but you up there, I know who I am. You don't know who you are. See? And ladies and gentlemen, we will fuel bad ecology. We will support bad ecology. Not understanding the economics messed up. Listen to me. Listen to me carefully. You will never properly give to somebody you don't have the right relationship with. It's true. It's true. When you have the right relationship with someone, you will give to them freely. Y'all it's true. It's true. don't hear what I'm saying. It's true. I said when you have the right ecology, you will have the right economics. Yes. Where you perceive that a person is in a higher level to you, you will not withhold from them. But ladies and gentlemen, when you see the things we do to one another as Christians, no wonder the money is bad. And while we're doing what we're doing to one another, the demonic spirit, that unclean spirit is just clapping and saying that was wonderful. That was a boss move. I'm changing that tonight. I heard a man of God said one time that when he checked out his family, the Lord had him to study his family. And he started to realize that by age 50, 51, 52, all of the men in his family line were dead. He said, Lord, something is in our family. Got to stop with me. Something is in our bloodline. Telling our men to be dead by 50, 51, 52. He said they're all broke, struggling, had just regular jobs. said, Lord, that has to end with me. It has to end with you. As much as my grandfather was a man of God, pastor, I've outdone him. I've outdone my father. I've outdone meaning that I grew up under. Because I learned that I have to keep this unclean spirit out there in the dry places. Must never come back 
and find my space unoccupied. I must be on my throne in that, in my financial dimension, in my economics and in my relationship. And I want you to understand this, ladies and gentlemen. This is how things can be going good, and then all of a sudden they go bad. Because we're not watchful to see when that spirit gets in, when other people talk to other people about you, especially people that ain't give you anything. <laughs> People that are not even at our level should never influence you. Come on. For who relationship broke up and ain't got no man, ain't got no woman should be advising you. I didn't know when you replaced Steve Harvey. Now you got all this counseling that you, Dr. Phil. <laughs> you got that one right. Phil of nonsense. <laughs> Ecology and economics. And that's what that spirit has been doing in the lives of so many four in church. Let's not deal with outside of the four in church. See? So someone comes on, what you what you want now? Well, one of the sword is only want so one of the sword. So one of the sword. Yeah, I mean like one of them. Like, what what is what what riff raff what is seriously? You know, listen, listen, seriously, let's stop and deal with this tonight. And at the gym this was so important. The release of it was so important for right relation and then for the money to flow. Amen. Amen. But ladies and gentlemen, I need you to understand this tonight. Those who are watching online as the Lord spoke this morning, just that word, and then you see that quick response. What happened here this morning? And the word of the Lord... But but it had to come like Jonah. It had to come in power mm -hmm. that the people would respond. Yeah. Amen. And that the people would know this is a right moment for that kind of action to take place. Mm -hmm. And we're standing on the very word of God that right around Barbados and those who are watching online. The Lord said 100 persons. Mm -hmm. Just one 100 persons and he's already spoken to those individuals he's already spoken here at this house are you listening to what i'm saying and what we need at whmi is to keep this spirit out you got are you listening to what i'm saying so just a just a nasty spirit and listen to me, just as much as what you want for yourself, you need to want for other people. Don't take and take and take and take and when another person has the opportunity to receive, you try to block it. What you want for yourself, you want for other people. And don't try to write on people's maturity. If you know that you don't have good intentions towards someone, stop pretending. Yeah. 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 I said, if you know in your heart you don't have great intention towards someone, stop pretending that you do. So, ladies and gentlemen, this spirit, if you understand this word tonight, this spirit is me having an amazing time. A field day. In the body of Christ. So I decree and I declare tonight that all 
demonic collaborations and assignments against you are ended now. We must stop this unclean spirit from linking with seven more wicked spirits. We must end that kind of network. We must end that kind of collaboration. Are you here tonight? We, we must end, ladies and gentlemen, we must even end them coming back from dry places. Every time they return, we're occupied. We're swept, garnished, clean, set in order, and furnished. Every time they return, our level must be too powerful for them to handle by themselves. And back up they have to go. Because there's an occupying. Now I'm going to close on this, but this is the revelation that God did for David. When he said, they shall not fail thee a man. Out of your loins. To sit on the throne. Why? The forces must never come back and find this throne unoccupied by somebody like you. So they must never get into this house again. They must never get into this bloodline. And in the mighty name of Jesus, if you receive this tonight, we're stopping any further worsening of the conditions of your life right now, right here tonight in Jesus' name. You must get better from tonight. Everything must get better from tonight. Everything must work 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 exactly as the divine wants it to work. Would you lift your hands and receive this tonight? Come on. So, this is why, ladies and gentlemen, we can have miracle money. This is why we can have things showing up, manifestation taking place, because the unclean spirit is gone. There's nothing to block what God, God's power is ready to do for us right now. So, stand on your feet tonight. Let's go to work. And I hope you're receiving this tonight. Lift those hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, if I be your man, sent from you, by you, to occupy a throne, a dominion in Barbados and over Barbados, I call on the seraphim orders tonight. Amen. Amen. The armies of the Lord God of hosts. Yes. Amen. We decree holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Yes. That the whole earth is full of his glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I speak tonight from a place of authority. I say these spirits, these unclean ones, they have tampered disturb, destroy the lives of many. They've shut down houses, impoverished houses. But tonight we will no longer allow that to be the case. I declare there's a man of God here in this nation that is carrying a dimension of glory that the unclean spirits must leave. They must leave because this throne is occupied. They must leave because this throne is occupied. We have arrived and I have arrived to torment them before their time. To say to them enough is enough. Now you must leave and go out into dry our places now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now the people must begin to prosper. Amen. Now the miracles must yes. begin to happen. Amen. Now the cleaning yes. must take place. Amen. Now the furnishing must take place. Amen. 
Now the second in order must take place. Now the occupying of the thrones must take place. Every man and every woman in this room and every man and woman listening, watching online, your moment to sit on that throne and make demands and decree and see things begin to happen. That time is here right now in Jesus' name. I want your hands lifted to the Lord. I don't want you to play in this moment. I don't want you to play in this moment. We're sending that spirit, that unclean spirit is leaving tonight once and for all for good. Once and for all for good. Once and for all for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are restoring land and property. We are restoring life. We are restoring healthy relationships. We are restoring your economics. We are restoring your ecology. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We're cleaning you tonight. We're restoring you tonight. We are releasing your money back to you. Your property is coming back to you. In the name of Jesus, your riches are coming back to you. What is owed to you is coming to you. What was stolen is coming to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your business is going to work now. Your business is going to prosper now. You're going to have more than enough. More than enough. I said more than enough. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Every correct relationship that you must have with a grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt, whoever. Every right relationship that you should have in this realm that got severed because of this unclean spirit, I decree and declare right now a reconnection, a restoration, and a reunion in Jesus' name. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I said receive it now in the name of Jesus. We establish you with right relations with your leaders right now. That this anointing will come on your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My God have mercy. Your hands are lifted to the Lord. I connect you right now and establish you in right ecology and right economics with higher angels right now. That make things easy for you. Open your mouth and give God praise tonight. Come on. Tonight it starts being hard. That unclean spirit is being dealt with tonight by the power of the name of Jesus, by the power of his blood, by this new covenant written and ratified in the blood of Jesus Christ. We're making things easy for you tonight in Jesus' name. And in this realm, we establish right relationships Amen. with wealthy people. Amen. Right relationships with the right wealthy people. Amen. We see that. We see that. We see that. Now we decree this tonight. Amen. There will be no more stagnation. Amen. No more blocking of anything. I feel the fire of the Lord here tonight. My God. Hallelujah. My God have mercy. My God have mercy. Lift your hands to the Lord tonight. Father, I release healing in this room. Receive it right now. Hallelujah. I receive it right now. In, I release it right now in Jesus' name. Receive healing all over your body right now. Receive healing all over your body. Receive healing all over your body. 
Hallelujah. Receive healing all over your body right now. Receive healing all over your body right now. Receive healing all over your body right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Come on. Hallelujah. Correction is being made right now in every area of your body. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Our Father, we ask for a restoration of every dimension of wealth and riches yes. Amen. that are rightfully ours, yes. that were severed by unclean spirits. Yes. Thank you for those reconnections right now. And thank you for the flow of wealth back to us. Thank you for the flow of riches back to us. Right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for the kind of restoration. Thank you for the kind of restoration right now that has broken demonic activity. Broken every demonic assignment. Broken every demonic network. From this minute, from this very minute, unclean spirits will not be able to communicate with even more wicked spirits. We break their connection right now. We disturb their channel. We disturb their line of, of, of connection. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We command that right now by divine power. If you're here, I want you to give God praise right now. Something is going to happen to you all this week. Something is going to happen to you all this week that's going to prove the word of the Lord. I need everybody to give God glory in this room right here. I need you to give God praise in this room right here tonight. As we get ready to close in those who are watching online, we demand in the name of Jesus that every unclean spirit leaves your house, leave your spouse, leave your children, leaves your business, leaves your economics, leaves your ecology, leaves right now every dimension where they've been operating in your life. We command in the name of the Lord Jesus, out in Jesus' name. Leave now in, leave now in the name of Jesus. We send angels right now, angels of the Lord, to drive these unclean spirits out into dry places. Drive them far out into dry places. Never let them find rest. Never let them even think about returning to us. Somebody in this family line is occupying the throne. Amen. Jesus. Let resources fall like rain tonight. In the name of Jesus. That the miracle money begin to manifest. Legitimate miracle money. Amen. Money that should have happened to us at this time and space in our existence. Amen. Things that should have happened, that should be happening now in our time. Let those things begin to happen now. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for the cleansing tonight. Amen. Thank you for the restoration. Amen. Thank you for the garnishing. Amen. Oh my God, thank you for the furnishing. Thank you for setting things in order tonight. Glory to God. That we can enjoy the presence of the Father in this realm. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Even for those who are watching online, as they receive this word, we stop any worsening conditions. We stop all worsening conditions I said we stop all worsening conditions now if they have been happening that spirit is now cast out that you can have immediate response from the divine in the mighty name of Jesus so angelic orders of seraphims come now every person encircle every person here go home with every person here Go home with every person here. 
Go home with every person here. Be at home with every person watching over. And this week they must see signs and manifestations of this woman. We declare it now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen and amen. Would you lift your hands and begin to give it praise? Hallelujah. Glory. Would you lift your hands and begin to give it praise here tonight?